Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're actually going to be going over Haze here with Redeemed. Haze is a little bit of an interesting character being utilized as a ranged poke mage that also is able to be a little bit more of a close range burst mage. Uh, today we've got Amir with us. How are you doing today Amir? I'm doing pretty good with uh, with Haze getting her new skin or I guess new skins. Um, it's been nice to see her in my lobbies. I think that her dress is probably one of the most elegant things that I have seen in the past few days. And uh, it's, it's very nice to get a refreshing new skin for a character that I think sees a decent amount of play. No, for sure. And actually, I mean, I'm really happy to see that Redeen is running the skin as well. We get to see the beautiful looks of, of Haze here on full display. So very... Very excited to see Redeem play the character as he is well known for his Haze. For those that don't know about Haze, we'll go over the abilities a little bit here. Starting with her passive weapon case. So Haze is a very unique setup with her, her weapon. So every time she casts an ability, she'll swap out her weapon, making her next basic attack deal extra skill damage and also increase her movement speed by 6% for one second. So we can already see it kind of going in action. Uh, Redeem already displaying basically every single ability. So her Q grenade launches a grenade dealing AOE damage. That's that AOE blast that she shoots out. Uh, her W is shotgun. So Hayes takes a step back and shoots a cone in front of her stunning targets. And one thing that's also really important here is when she uses her, her E, which we'll talk about in a second, or her ultimate, she puts herself into two different weapons and if she uses her shotgun during that it'll actually reduce the cooldown of her skills by 20 percent when looking at her e smg uh she'll dash slightly forward so that's her um, slight dash direction that she's been using and she'll shoot at a target for up to five seconds that's around her or if you repress your q you'll actually get smg burst which deals a conal frontal damage of in front of her for 0 0.5 seconds and lastly is her ultimate which is rocket launcher that's her big she pulls out the big case on her back she's launching she can launch it four rockets dealing aoe damage to targets hit and uh yeah, i mean that's a lot of haze's abilities she is a bit more of a complex character um compared to most characters where haze technically has six abilities um and her passive which is very important to her play style as we do see them taking a fight and taking down this luke um but yeah haze's ult being able to actually be used as an uh, enhanced auto attack right? she has a bonus of auto attack range can right click someone to do a bunch of amp damage consuming one of her rockets or she can press q with it and it will shoot out a skill shot that it sorry it slows and deals damage and it also passes through so it will always travel the entire distance hitting mo whatever targets are in its whatever targets are in its way i guess um and the big thing about haze's enhanced or i guess her alt q um is that when it hits something, it deals a percentage, I think it's 50% of the rocket damage to the target behind it as well. So if you have two people and they're standing right beside each other, one behind the other, then, oh. <laughs> oh, that yeah, was a little unfortunate. Will, if, uh, if you have two targets standing like one behind the other, uh, Haze's rocket will actually deal the 100% damage to the first person. Uh, the AoE will deal 50% damage to the next person. And because the rocket still passes through and hits the other person, it'll deal another 100% onto the second person. Meaning that technically, that person's taking 150% of Haze's rocket. Which is very scary, and it can make a character like Haze very scary in very nar narrow corridors, where you can start hitting multiple targets with a single rocket. Like, does look like we'll be taking a small fight here. Redeem trying to abuse the fact that you can just throw out abilities and then start auto attacking. Not really having to connect any of them. Throwing the rocket as we see passing multiple targets hitting two people on one of them. And doesn't actually look like we're 
gonna be winning this one trying to make a safe escape yeah we'll have to just leave now here a little unfortunate does, doesn't land ha uh some of the abilities in that fight but again it's kind of fun again Hayes is that interesting character i slightly mentioned it right at the beginning but she can play super long ranged as a poke mage but then she's also a close range burst mage and you can kind of see redeem's really good at weaving in between those kind of styles where you know starts off the fight relatively close trying to trade dual fights against the lenore and then switches to rocket trying to help from a distance usually mix the other way usually you start the fight with the rockets uh you know trying to dish out some damage from afar nuke down the enemy team and then being able to dash in and finish someone off with a full burst combo uh, between your close range abilities and i know a lot of haze mains really like going for this kind of scary combo where you e forward and look for this w uh to get this stun off basically looking to dash and then stun and then I think a lot of them look for the Q right after, maybe weave in an auto attack, and then just alt and start nuking them down with all of those. They're slowed from the Q, uh, they just finished getting stunned. You probably still have blink up, meaning that if they run away, you just follow. And it's a very scary combo, but a hard one to land, it takes a lot of practice, and uh, there are very few haze mains that can do it perfectly. It's also not a combo that you need at all times though. No, exactly. One of the actual interesting techs as well that I learned while learning Haze is utilizing your D skill effectively. So when, when it comes to Haze, as we talked about with her passive, when she's dropping these abilities, you can see she swaps weapons. There's a downtime between when she can actually auto attack. Uh, we'll probably end up seeing Radin do it here at some point. But when Radin's between swapping weapons, he'll actually most likely press D skill so that he can weave in an auto attack immediately. As it does let you auto attack cancel and be able to get it right off and not have to wait on that animation. Yeah, we did see him do it right there after dropping, I think, the rocket he just finished throwing out. Um, instantly D skilled, auto attack the Magnus that was diving our backline. And it just is a combo that is allowed to get a bit more damage out a bit faster um something that i think mainly only haze mains utilize as it requires you to understand all of your abilities all of your buttons when you can start pressing it you don't need to uh to start throwing it out so you get a free mithril from the bear after getting the free mithril off of winning that fight wonder what we're gonna throw it into yeah, it looks like it's probably going into Lennox here. She's about to craft it into uh, an item for herself. The interesting factor, yeah, it's her headpiece that we're going to be seeing. But yeah, it's it's kind of interesting because it's really, really confusing with Haze as a character because of how unique her passive is. You initially wouldn't understand or think that Overheat really does anything for the character because Overheat is meant for those auto attack AR characters like Isil and Aya, but all Hayes uses it for is to basically auto attack cancel to let herself get her auto attack back slightly quicker so she can kind of weave in her combo and burst just that extra edge instead of utilizing what normally it is used for, which is like restacking a reload and having a full stack to like keep shooting a bunch of auto attacks out. And it is also very nice to see, I think, um, I think this was sometime last season or beginning of this season that we saw Hayes's weapon actually get a bit of a change where the Black Widow now, her um, legendary AR here, got a buff to, I think it attached CDR to the weapon, which it previously didn't have. And that made a lot of Hayes mains think it's not worth getting because they have to start slotting CDR into another, another slot as Hayes is a character that really likes having 30% CDR her abilities are everything she is, which means that without her abilities up, she's not too useful. And I think we'll actually be seeing a fight here in a second, but yeah, we're going to see the rocket come out. A few rockets coming into the Alonzo. We see the ability to throw it over to the Katja. Running forward, actually, I don't know if we're going to see a kill here. Blinking forward to throw the Q. Yeah. I think that the other team has realized that it is not very winnable and... We have to get one person out at least, but it was very surprising. We see Redeemed throwing over, throwing the rockets over to Alonzo until we notice that there's another priority target in range. Start throwing it at our priority targets. 
get that damage out and uh, then blink forward once we know the fight's secured. Can you pick up an extra kill? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that that's the thing, right? Radin really knows his haze uh, distances and skills. So, you know, Alonzo was the free target and both the other enemy teammates were slightly behind him. So hitting him, there was a chance for the splash and then they moved to the sides. So he, he took the free shots to try and take down the Kacha and the Felix. And then, like you mentioned, you were kind of surprised he went into melee, but he knew that he could take that duel. Like Felix tries to go in there. Uh, the burst that can come in from the close range abilities of Haze is something that you definitely shouldn't underestimate. And with Haze already almost being full build now, we actually dropped down a 20% CDR now. So we're going to have to see where the last item goes. Hopefully maybe back up to 30% now that we went D scale. Yeah, with uh, Haze specifically, because her weapon does actually give her healing cut as well, um, <laughs> this is maybe a bit too much of a well-statted item, giving 15% cooldown reduction. Um, we get amp a decent amount of amp as well, and heal cut. Um, it means that she doesn't need a uh, heal cut on her boots, allowing her to just go and slot in some CDR glacials and or yeah, with glacial slippers or glacial shoes instead. Yeah, the glacial shoes. I I still feel I I still have like the haunting memories of past seasons of where the shoes were just so terrible and so poorly statted. They're a lot better nowadays, only slightly less than legs of steel. But my gosh, before they were just terrible. Yeah, we do see a few more rockets coming out. I don't know if we connected all of them, but it doesn't really matter as we realize that our Lennox hit the alt. The enemies have to be afraid. We do see a sniper skill coming off from the distance. I don't think that uh, we're actually looking to take that fight, though. We might not even notice that they're there until now. Well, I mean, looking at the health and that Kacha, by the way, I do believe that they did actually land. I think he was taking down the Kacha pretty heavily. I don't think Lennox did that all by herself. <laughs> Yeah, the amount of damage that Haze can do from nearly off screen is very surprising as we do see her using the W to deny the Magnus onto her and then walking forward trying to make sure that we can get this little bit of extra damage out, unable to connect one more auto attack, but with everything that we're able to do onto the Sylvia, it was just enough to take at least one down, Magnus was able to go low, but we have another challenger approaching, what doesn't a really seem I... like we want to take this. Blinking out as the Jackie goes forward. We know that Jackie gets the reset, so we're just trying to do whatever we can to co close, cover that distance and make sure we get out. Oh, that was an interesting... See, that was uh, that was the usage there of immediate rocket launcher hitting the slow, and then it, when using shotgun in that rocket launcher form, immediately gave him cooldown reduction. Plus, uh, then I believe... Did he de I don't think he descaled there. I don't think he got the auto weave in to get the, um, the passive in. But he did get increased movement speed by switching weapons, so definitely yeah, very uh, useful for kiting. It's very nice to see because like, I, I've played a few games of Haze, and what usually happens is I don't know what weapon to be in. Um, I'm not weaving in the auto attack, and it ends up with someone jumping on top of me, and I don't have the ability to get out. But watching someone like Redeem play this, he's able to throw in the abilities. And he knows all of his distances, he knows his cooldowns, he knows his auto attack range, is able to just keep weaving all of these things in and heal for himself in a lot of these fights. Exactly, yeah. No, he's utilizing his abilities really well to get that extra distance. Because, again, Hayes doesn't have these crazy long dashes, but she has these micro dashes, right? She's got her E to dash slightly. She's got It's like almost the same distance, I believe, of E shift. She also has her shotgun, which does send her back slightly. So it's like... These micro movements definitely can help out and uh, Redeem utilizes them quite well, especially also utilizing the movement speed increase that you get from swapping weapons. Yeah, but we do see a Piolo coming forward. He's diving right on top of us, but we're able to take him down before he can kill us. Using the W to try and cover gap close a bit. I think we aren't actually going down here. We're just walking through using the bonus movement speed we get from the weapon swap to make sure that we're not in range for the Luke to keep doing anything to us. Yeah. Yolo went down, so that, I think we're just going to try and reset. That was that was a really, really good utilization of our mobility because, I mean, Luke played that incredibly well, jumping onto, I believe it was the Rio, and then used that to jump onto Haze, and Haze was able to still just create the space for it. And yeah, yeah this is just a menace yeah. of damage. Look at, look at the damage output that, that, um, <laughs> like, that Haze can do with the burst. I With the Luke that dove in, Redeem just hit every skill, and <laughs> and then Luke fell on the floor. 
it didn't really look too fair. No, not at all. I think that Piolo's dead. Um, uh, he probably has enough timer to make it over to the TP. Piolo has a decent amount of dashes. I think they had full timer, so it should be good. My urge to check is is <laughs> tower check. Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't look like we're doing anything for a bit. Okay, so, he does make it. That's crazy to think okay, that he actually makes that. Yeah, but we do see. Um, I wonder if Redeem has enough. Oh, we actually don't have enough credits. I think we're gonna be crying for a bit. Um, another 50 credits, and we have enough to get glacials, which means that we will be full build, full amp, and our full CDR as well. Being able to go 30% is very nice for a lot of these fights. For sure. I actually, think... I think I think he's lost a couple of kills because he doesn't have that extra 10%. I think yeah. he would have had his R back up to catch a couple of these kills if he had the extra 10. Um, oh, actually, do we get a tree here? We do, as the bear is just generous enough to drop us a tree. Yeah, is, and here I it think comes. In, uh, in the forest fight, we slightly lost out on the Magnus kill because we didn't have some cooldowns up in time. Um, and then even in that last fight, I think if we were, if we were at 15% or 0% CDR, the Luke just gets on us for free and is we're unable to do anything about it because we have to use all of our cooldowns to try and deny the piolo that was diving up early. no for sure and i think that's i think that's really important is knowing like that haze is such a short cooldown like right now i mean this rocket launcher ability i believe is only like 15 seconds right now it's actually yeah it's at 15 seconds so utilizing this ability is really helpful for vision for poke it, it does a ton of damage it can and it's just you, you don't have to be scared of it it's always going to be back up a lot of times during the fight like we already have it back up now to, to start this fight again yeah it looks like we're actually going to be jumped here using e into w getting that cooldown reduction but we have to use everything make sure that we are not even close to this fight um that was very close but luckily our ew was able to cover some distance and we used blink to get a bit more away from this team also, still throwing all of these ults backwards to get a slow, and it looks like we're going to be rejoining the fight. Sadly, the Bianca was unable to get the revive off before having to go into stasis, and we're able to pick up all three kills going for a wipe. And I forgot, I I'm in this game. Uh, we're <laughs> <laughs> there's me. <laughs> oh, and yeah, it looks like you're going to try and take down... Oh, actually, wait, you're going to be able to take Redeem Doe, <laughs> showing who the better ranged carry is. Yeah, but unfortunately, and, uh... we still die. I... You know, I didn't think, I didn't realize it was in this game, but that ends up working out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you, know, you were able to really show that you are the better player here. Um, maybe <laughs> it's time for you to go on your Hazard. No! You've already shown that your coach no. is much better. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, yeah, that's why yeah, Redeem's looks... standing over my corpse right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, taking a quick rest right uh. above. It just makes me think of the pre -up. Why aren't they moving? It's just... <laughs> <laughs> They're just sleeping. It's okay. Yeah, just taking a little nap. They'll be fine well, in a little bit. Yeah, but it actually looks like we will have enough for a blood. I don't know if we go for blood or if uh, we're prioritizing using these credits on trap. Well, if we do go for blood, I mean, it can definitely go on to Haze or or Rio. I think it would be on to ourselves if we do go for the blood. I, I definitely think it's, yeah, it looks like we are. I mean, why not? We have 30 seconds red timer. We're in uh one of the final zones. I don't think there should be any reason why we don't take a blood upgrade. Yeah, especially because the Dawn version gives you Hex as well. A character with this much range having Hex is uh, very scary. The only thing actually that I don't like about this is that we don't have heal cut now. Right? Oh wait, or does yeah. Rio Bow have heal cut? Uh no. Rio Bow does not, but, oh, but I'm Lenox pretty sure does. our whip does, yeah. yeah. Yeah, our Lennox is running the whip, right? Um, which is a very honestly that that whip might have it might be too good. Okay, okay. I don't I, really see a reason for Lennox to take anything else. I know we're talking about Haze, but can we talk about that whip real quick? So that whip <laughs> is so broken in so many levels so i have been recently crafting two whips on route for my i've been running the <laughs> heel cut whip which is obviously the most standard most broken but i've also yeah. been crafting the whip that gives you percentage movement speed and a shield and uh, and the reason for it is because i think it's a really over overpowered whip as well and i think it's really good 
but every single game i never equip that other whip because i look at my team and no one has heal cut and i'm like i apply aoe heal cut why would i ever give up aoe heal cut for a uh, movement speed and a shield like it's just it's so strong and it's really well statted it has such high amp it is just an incredible item to have yeah especially with the fact that um whip characters have their whip skill which is just an aoe slow and whip or end damage um and a lot of tanks don't actually get access to heal cut on hit um they get heal cut when they're hit instead so having an item like this whip is uh it's a lot of tanks only way to get heal cut when they hit an opponent instead of the other way around exactly and i think that's i think that's a big factor too it's just just really well statted really well good effect but yeah luckily they do plus have heal cut, cut and uh, yeah plus heal cut so now luke goes down unfortunately two rats i don't know if you saw that but the sylvia and the luke looked at each other in that corner of forest <laughs> and kind of just handshaked walked away from each other and luke tried to opt for the the zone <laughs> Yeah, I think he was hoping that the Sylvia might look for a different angle around and then he can find his way in after the Sylvia's looked for a fight, but... Sadly, I think it worked out for him, though. I think Sylvia didn't have enough time or she had boomed on her own. Yeah, I think Sylvia went out before them, which means that, you know, he gets a third place. Oh, the hook coming in immediately kills. with shotgun Ooh. follow up and just instantly dead. That game's it's just game over. It's that combination um, right there. I don't know, with a Jackie in the game, I, I never call a game over till she's down. But it looks like, yeah, the Jackie will try and find her way around. But we're just going to pump so much damage into her. This is, that, that just didn't even look fair. No, she tried, she tried to get the Rio, but Rio, good spacing. And I mean, Redeem wasn't scared to just go into that close range and just send everything into her. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed the new skin of Haze. You guys should check it out. Look inc how incredible that is. And we will see you all in the next one.